Marilyn Monroe was born Norma Jean Mortensen Baker on June 1, 1926. Marilyn was born in Los Angeles, California. Gladys Mortensen Baker, a single parent, gave birth to her, and she never discovered who her father really was. Gladys' ability to be a stable and devoted mother to Marilyn was hindered by the psychiatric issues she battled for the duration of her adult life. In the foster care system, Marilyn experienced verbal and sexual assault. Marilyn Monroe was the most famous actress of her time and is still popular today, with many books, documentaries, and movies made about her life. At the age of 36, Marilyn Monroe passed away at her Los Angeles home in August 1962. Her demise was initially attributed to a sleeping medication overdose. It is still unclear if it was accidental or suicidal. She was discovered in her recently purchased home, along in her bed, holding an unhooked phone and with a bottle of sleeping tablets by the side of her bed. The case was reopened 20 years later, in 1982. After further investigation, the district attorney found that the original findings remained unchanged, and her death was still ruled to be a drug overdose. General strain theory focuses explicitly on negative treatment by others and is the only major theory of crime and delinquency to highlight the role of negative emotions in the etiology of offending. In Chapter 5, page 123 of the book, it says, quote, Criminal behavior may also relate to the anger and frustration that results when an individual is treated in a way he or she does not want to be treated in a social relationship, end quote. There are three ways general strain theory can produce straining events when our strain caused by failure to achieve positively value goals, stress caused by the removal of positively value stimuli from the individual, and strain caused by the presentation of negative stimuli. It is commonly known that the mental illness ran in Marilyn Monroe's family. Her mother resided in an institution for the majority of her life. Marilyn may have inherited a milder version of the mental illness that her mother Gladys Baker experienced. Dr. Greeson, Marilyn's psychiatrist at the time of her death, is said to have told others that he thought Marilyn had schizophrenia. Most frequently, individuals who had feelings of abandonment as children developed this condition. The main factor linking these three main strains as described in the slide before is that the strain to crime and delinquency is the propensity to make people more likely to feel undesirable emotions like rage, resentment, anxiety, and sadness. Offending behavior is reportedly one possible response to these feelings, which are claimed to create pressure for remedial action. It enables them to address the source of their stress or because it allows them to lessen the unfavorable emotions that frequently accompany stress. People who are under stress may turn to crime or delinquency. People like Marilyn Monroe experience a lot of strain and stress because of society has high expectations for an individual's achievement. The lower social economic divisions are created by American society's structure, which also explain why lower class crime exists. These objectives are distorted aspirations, unrealistic wishes for success, and crude selfishness because they are set too high and out of reach for a segment of society. These stress creates the conditions for personal failure and the pursuit of unconventional solutions. Despite the fact that the general strain theory emphasizes the significance of negative effect, it is believed that stress can have additional criminology effects. Particular experiencing prolonged or recurrent pressure may erode ties with traditional others and, as a result, lead to a lack of social control. Additionally, it may encourage pro-crime ideas, such as the notion that crime is justifiable, boosts the appeal of troubled peer networks, such as groups may perceive as a work to relieve stress, and nurture pro-crime personality qualities such as negative emotionally and poor self-control. The general strain theory recognizes that not everyone who experiences strain turns to crime. Many people have the means to control their anger and dissatisfaction. Others resort to physical relaxation methods, while still others simply distance themselves from the stressful situations. The ability to manage stress depends on individual life experiences such as parental rejection and abuse, harsh or extensive parental discipline, negative school experiences such as receiving poor grades or having poor relationship with teachers, being the victim of bullying or other peer abuse, criminal victimization, maternal issues such as verbal or physical abuse, persistent unemployment or underemployment, 
Homelessness, living in economically depressed neighborhoods and the inability to work are examples of stressors that might meet these criteria. According to research, the majority of these strains are connected to criminology. Even after accounting for crucial adult social roles like marriage, labor force engagement, and education, the main general strain theory relationship that increases in strain should predict changes in criminal activity was still found to be valid. While there was no evidence to support the idea that changes in social support and self-esteem moderate the link between stress and criminal distance, it was discovered that anger deposition, a measure of negative emotionality, moderate, moderate the link between changes in chronic stressors and changes in criminal activity. Although the general strain theory has been the subject of several repeated experiments of its claims, little work has been done to integrate and extend the theory's fundamental concepts to life's course criminology. Traditionally, general strain theories may in fact contribute to explain this neglect. Early strain explanations were heavily criticized for failing to account for the decline in frequency and the dehiderance from crime that many criminals experienced in their adult years. For any of you who want to learn more about my sources on your own, I've included a list of them on the slide. Thank you for listening.